a 3D scanner. This so your... there's an Sorry, app... I almost jumped ahead. No, that's okay. There's an app coming out that is... It, it, it really struck me oddly that this is why they made it. But this guy that knows a bunch of food bloggers was tired of 2D images of food. And what, what? he what he said he saw was people going around the, the, the item and taking multiple pictures to get the picture from the best angle to then post. And so they created this 3D scanning tool for iOS. It's for the iPhone. It obviously plays on a lot of the new iOS 8 APIs where they're kind of unlocking the camera or the capabilities within the camera. And I, I will say, I, I from, from the looks of it, obviously they're playing this up for food people, but from the looks of it, it's pretty there's certainly a lot more applications. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm like. There's there's a, there's a lot more applications than this. And it, the interesting thing is when when and you, and you have the video up right now, when they take the scan, he just pretty much like waves the phone over like a the magic piece of cake. wand, like a magic wand. It, and like, look, look at him spinning. the. He just spins oh, the wow. cake around. Oh, wow. And it's not like it's a bunch of like clipped together photos and it actually uses parallax to then let you tilt. I was pretty impressed with the way they got it to work. Now, I think they said it's going to be out in a couple of weeks. Um, and I'm guessing you're going to have to use their engine to 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 watch or to play back the pictures. Mm -hmm. But it's a pretty cool idea when you think about it. Especially if they can start wireframing stuff for 3D printing, um, things of that nature. It's to me, it's a very, very interesting technology. I'd even like it for like if like old school action figures and like stuff on Chachi's desk at work, like <laughs> just taking the 3D scan and then being able to go around the object. I don't know. I think it's pretty neat. Good show off stuff. I mean, how many three? Mm -hmm. How many of those 3D kind of look at this phone on AT&T Wireless dot com? You know, right. For instance, I mean, yeah, that, that could be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, definitely going to look out for this when it's uh, released here. Oh, they're in Zurich, Switzerland, according to their Vimeo. Mm. So, hmm. All right. Uh, with that, uh, I want to give a shout out to our friends at Slice on Broadway. Uh, they're providing that great, great pizza. You know, you were mentioning on before mm -hmm. uh, the show there, Chilla. Uh delish yes it's <laughs> awesome it was tremendous i don't know what they did but it's like they toasted the crust it was just amazing uh but you can check them out too they're in the south hills of pittsburgh here on broadway avenue where the t-line runs also they got a second location out down there in carnegie pa not too far away from here it's just off uh all that construction junk that's happening uh on your way out to the airport right now um right on the main street in uh carnegie pa and they deliver uh, far and wide they do they got they got, they got pretty, a big foot. They got pretty good range there. Uh so go check it out, man. There's another pizza place start opening up, the Jets or something. I was so, like, do we really need another pizza place? It's the one down on yeah, the one that used to be the, the ice cream shop. And then it was the Nathan's there. hot dogs. Yeah, Nathan's hot dogs. It's like mm. it's not gonna last. Because they got these guys to compete with. So there's there's too much good pizza. There's like there's like renowned pizza, like three roads parallel with each other mm -hmm. over here. Yeah. Um but Oh, and and I don't know. I don't know if I can say this, but they're a lot nicer than the people at Beto's. Is that is that that's the and I never know which which one's that's, pronounced, that's, pronounced which way. That's Beto's. Is that raw cheese tea. place? It's the raw cheese place. Ugh. And they're very uppity for Ugh. this is personal and my my personal uh, uh, experience and thoughts and and wishes uh, do not reflect on Slice on Broadway. Our Greg Ray sponsor, but but I go down there and it's the closest pizza place. It's right there. It's right there. I haven't gone there in two years. That's horrible. Because it's always been a horrible, horrible experience for me. It's just raw cheese. So it's just raw cheese, man. They're doing ma they're doing magic down a slice on Broadway, guys. They're, they're toasting they're doing, it. They're toasting this stuff. They're making they're making they're making art, pizza art over there. So go check it out, sliceonbroadway.com. Follow them on the Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagrams. Um, and you'll 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 get hungry. So, all right, let's get into some other stuff we have. First of all, uh, 